this integration from virtual to every link first what you have to do is get github icon setup so you can go to github.com click on sign up and you can create your account so you can just use any email id and you can sign up so i am not going to do that procedure because i have already signed up so i'm just clicking on sign in there is a desktop application of github which you can download okay which is github desktop so desktop.github.com you can download for your application and there you can sync with github with all your project code so i have already provided you code which is here uh, so if you see this this is the code okay and this we need to upload to github so how you can do this you can just go to desktop application which is here i need to click on sign in go to desktop going back again to desktop application and my application is here now once you have logged into desktop application you can just go here and click create a new repository or add existing repository so i will click on create new repository i will name it or fb1 or fb news or something like that so i think things are there i will go to the local path uh, so we have already downloaded it so i will just select this path so i have opened this path now and now i will click on create repository okay so once this is done i will click on publish and i will publish the repository i will click on refresh you can see here is my repository okay so yeah so on this repository i will go to finder uh, since these pages are here i will just drag all these pages to this folder once i do that you can see here or some changes already being done for it okay i will just name it and i will commit it again push push main something any name you want to give i will commit it and will click on push origin i will refresh that again now you can see here we have the code set up for it okay now there is one thing you need to do we have to create an environment file also here so that environment file you need to create here so what you can do is just click on this here create a new file name it env dot local okay now here you have to put a link so the link is this so you have to add this graphql endpoint your wordpress site slash graphql okay so my website is currently this in your wordpress site you have to go and add a plugin so i am just showing you what plugin i have added that is wp graphql so just add this plugin once you add this plugin the link would be this and you can check this so this is your website name slash graphql so just add that link here the file and i will click on commit so you can see our env file has been added and this is ready for our website so now we need to deploy this to Vercel. okay so now we have github ready with our code with our environment file now we have to deploy this code to Vercel. So for that, go to Vercel, okay, and log in with your GitHub ID. So how you do it? You log in with your GitHub ID. So I will just click on this. I have already logged in, so it will come from my GitHub. Now here it will show blank to you. So what you need to do is click on this, click on project, and here you will see your project name. So that is verb every news which we have done. So I will just import that the same name everything would be same i will just click on deploy so our deployment has been done we will click on dashboard 
So here is our URL right now. It is verb app being used dot versal app. So once I click on this, it will take me to this app. Now how I can create a versal app being used link from it. Okay. If I go to my website, here is a dummy demo post. Okay. So if you go to your any post, the URL parma link would be something like this. So I will just copy this. Since I have set this uh, URL only on this Vercel environment file, so it would be working for this only. So I will just click on, uh, I will just go to this. Now you can see here we got the link. Now if you want to change it, you can just go here and you can change it for any website. Uh, so you can just click on this and you know, you can change the environment file from here so whenever you will update the environment file the same will goes to the versal also so versal will be auto updated and auto deployed uh, from your git repository now once the versal link has been generated this has been done next step is to get the square image and upload it to facebook so now if i go to facebook.com and if i try to see so let me try to post it on facebook I see the feature image which I have set on the link and that we don't want. We want a square image over here. So you cannot do it directly. So for this purpose, you have to go to a ad manager. I am into this ad account. I can, you know, just go to this can create a new ad. Once you go to this, create a new ad, you can just click on traffic ad, click on this. Okay. So this campaign should be turn off the campaign right now because we don't really need that. So you can select your page which is available here. So click on this add media. I will click on add image. And I will upload some image over here. So make a square image. I have just taken a screenshot yesterday for image. So I just took it. So this is our square image. So I can show you that also. So this is the image currently I'm uploading. So you can, you know, create your own square image from here and you can upload to ad manager. Now, once it is done, I think everything looks fine to me. Now you see here, we have this image uploaded now they are asking for a primary text and headline so i'm just taking a you know this uh, text only no button click on no button for call to action and here you have to put this link which is your versal link Now if you see, I will click on advanced preview how it will look like. So it will look like something like this. So whatever you have written, it will come here like this. Don't want to run the ad. We just want to get this link so that we can share this on our page. So for this, click on share and share a link. Link sharing is uh, disabled. So I will enable it for 60 days or 30 days. So now link is active and I will click on send notification to Facebook. So there has been notification sent to my phone and from my phone, I am just sharing the article, uh, this URL. So as you can see, I just shared it from my phone. This is the URL. So from your uh, mobile notification, you can check it. Okay. Now I can share it to anywhere I want. Okay. So if I click on this and if I click on post, it would be shared into my Facebook. So I will just go to my Facebook. Yeah. So now if you see my post has been, sh I have shared post, which just came from here. I am going to the Facebook page from where we have shared this. So this is our page. If we go to the page, 
we won't be able to see that here because uh, that URL is enabled but uh, not into the page so we need to share that on the page as well as or any other page uh, where you want so this is how you share the Vercel link into the Facebook just go to ad manager create a new ad it should be a traffic ad select your page after selecting your page go to media upload a creative media here it should be a square image uh, something viral like, like this then you have to give a description you have to click on call to action and no button and then you have to provide the worst cell fb url here and if someone click on that uh, if you see if this is the my link right if i click on this link it will take me to this Vercel url and then to my original url so this way the link will be redirected and we will get the traffic anytime you can just go to this ad uh, since this ad is not active as of now and you can again make a new link here click on preview or you can change it to any other link and you can send the notification so this is how it should work let me know if you have any query on this